Hi everybody, my name is Hendrik and I want to talk to you about surprising math today. So, I love math for its clarity, elegance and sometimes very surprising results and this is a fact I want to share with you today. So, mathematics was my minor subject in university and what I really love about mathematics is sometimes things are true which totally surprise you and these are my favorite theorems and what's better uh, to illustrate a surprise than the surprise owl and you can imagine that this is how I looked sometimes during a lecture in mathematics in university. So and I thought what what facts about math find other people surprising. So I did a little bit of a Twitter research and I asked around what other people find interesting or surprising and I got a lot of results. And thank you everyone who participated. And now I will show you a mixture of my favorite theorems and the favorites of the Twitter timeline and let's go. So first one, Nini suggested banach tarski theorem. So what is that? Can a ball be decomposed into a finite number of point sets and reassembled into two balls identical to the original? And the answer is yes. So surprising fact, our idea of volume is more complicated than we think. Number two, suggested by Eric Niebler, Euler's identity. So this identity shows a connection between uh, pi, Euler's number, the imaginary unit and one. And this is surprising because pi is from geometry, e is from studying compound interest, one is a number and the imaginary unit is from complex numbers. Why should all these things be related? But they are. Surprise, surprise. Really cool. Ah, Brian suggested the four color theorem. So the fact that you only need four colors to um, color in a map without neighboring elements having the same color illustrated here by looking at the map of the United States. And this is pretty surprising. If you don't know that theorem, you might have thought you need more colors to do that, but it's only four. And Alistair suggested something about infinity. So I made a slide here, the infinities. And what I really find interesting about infinity is that there are several kinds of infinity. If you study set theory, because in set theory we have um, the fact that two sets can be equinumerous, so they have the same number of elements if they are finite, or a bijection exists for infinite sets between them. And this is interesting. How many infinities are there? Are there more than two? And equinometry is really interesting because, for example, the power set of natural numbers and the real numbers are equinumerous, have the same number of elements. The open interval 0, 1 and all the real numbers are equinumerous, have the same number of elements, basically. And any open interval and the real numbers um, have the same number of elements or are equinumerous. And what I really find interesting, rank linear algebra, the number of linear independent rows and columns of a matrix is the same number, the rank of the metric, uh, matrix. So here below you see a matrix of rank two, you have now several seconds to calculate that in your head. And this first semester linear algebra effect surprised me very much, so much I didn't believe it at first and tried to disprove it a couple of times. Of course, it's possible to disprove it because it's a fact which can be proven, but it's for me, it was very surprising. Angle trisection. So, uh, constructing an angle equal to one third of a given arbitrary angle using only an unmarked straight edge and a compass. Impossible to solve for arbitrary angles. And if this is something a lot of people won't accept and try to dis uh, disprove as, or prove or disprove as well, because angle bisection is possible, but trisection is not very surprising. And to summarize, studying math is cool. You can learn not only helpful, but also a lot of things, but also a lot of surprising things. Interesting to see what other people find surprising about math. So tell me, finding out something is true, which seems unbelievable, is really, really cool. And have a look at math Olympiad problems. So here was just a YouTube channel for, for solving these math Olympiad problems and a podcast, which is also called My Favorite Theorem and is really cool. Thank you.